In this video, we're going to learn how to put a simple link onto a page in WordPress. Then we're going to talk about the best anchor text to use on your link for getting more clicks and improving Google SEO. And then we're going to style the link. So let's create a new page. And we can give it a title. And then we need some text for the link. Once we've written our text, we can click over here, preferably right before the punctuation, and then let's highlight all the text. Once we do that and it's all blue, we can click on the Insert Edit Link button. Clicking that button will open this pop-out window, and now we need a destination URL. In other words, where someone will go when they click on our link. I've chosen a blog post I wrote on how to get more traffic. If we click in the browser, the entire link will copy, or highlight rather, and then we can copy it. Once we've chosen our destination URL, we can bring it over here and hit paste. Make sure there isn't two HTTPs or two of these punctuation sections or two WWWs. If there are two of those, the link will be broken and it won't work. We can also choose a link title, which is good for describing your link to Google. Then this button decides whether the link will open in a new browser tab, and we want it to. This section can be fun for linking existing content on your blog. Now let's add link. Once we click add link, our text will become hyperlinked, as they say, and now this text is anchor text, meaning it's anchoring our link onto the page. Let's go ahead and publish and see what this looks like. We've now created a working link within this page, and it'll be the same process to create a link in a post or really anywhere else around the blog. Let's click our link, and we can read the article that we chose. Now it's time to talk about anchor text, which, if you remember, is this text right here, which reads, some text for the link. The problem is, this text isn't very clickable. No one's really going to want to click right here. So let's change that. We can edit the page. There are two main strategies for using anchor text in the right way on your blog. And the first one deals with getting more clicks using action verbs. So let's change up our link text a little bit. What we've done here is we've sold our link a little bit with some information about it. And then we have an actionable statement right here. So when we hyperlink this, so when we add our URL, our title, and our checkbox, and then add link, we can update the post and it will look a little bit better. Explaining your links concisely and accurately and then using action verbs on the anchor text will get more clicks on your links over time. Now let's look at our second strategy, which is going to be creating a link that's good for Google SEO. In most cases, these will be called backlinks, and they're extremely important to building long-term Google rankings for your blog. Because remember, Google uses links on your blog and on other sites around the web as votes for which content is the best. Because Google uses links as votes, it's important that we use keywords on the links so that the votes have a little more weight in Google and tell Google a little bit more of what's going on. In this brief sentence, all we're really doing is mentioning a post that we wrote about in the past that created quite the buzz. So where do you think we would want to put our link? Well, for the best possible Google SEO on this article that's all about how to get more blog traffic, we're going to want to put that link on the text that describes that exactly. So we can highlight the text, making it our anchor text, and insert a link.
You'll actually see this strategy used quite a lot these days on top blogs and websites as website owners try to rank certain pieces of their content and certain articles for certain keywords that they've chosen. That's probably more than you wanted to know about how to put a link onto your blog post or page, but if you're curious on what makes this link and what creates this little underline area within your page, you could click on the text tab. Clicking on the text tab brings up the HTML code behind a link, and really it's pretty simple. Within this little chunk of HTML, we can see the title that we created, which is right here at the front of the link, and we can see a target equals underscore blank. That's that little checkbox that we clicked in the pop-up window to make our link open in a new tab. Then the text that's surrounded by these little alligator brackets is our anchor text. So we could change that if we wanted to. If we go back to visual, we can see the changes that we made. And that doesn't look too good. Manipulating this HTML code from the text tab will let you style your link to potentially make it look more attractive. For instance, we can delete the title and write a style instead. Now, looking at the visual tab, we have a pink link. How about that? Pink might not get us too many clicks though, so how about green instead? We could even make your link bigger in font size if you think that would help it get noticed and get more clicks. How about that? Well, you now know a little bit more about how to insert a link into your pages and how to use the best possible anchor text to get more clicks on your links and even how to style those links so they stand out. If you learned something here and feel like helping out, please make sure to post a comment and hit like and I'll see you next time.